What's up guys, this is Flight RC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this 60 degree servo. Basically the servo turns in both directions, in a 360 degree motion. So that's basically it. I hope you So first you're going to be needing a servo tester or a receiver and a transmitter. I recommend getting a servo tester, it's like a dollar and fifty cents on eBay, and you can get it from China. Next thing you're going to need, of course, a servo. I have a 9 gram servo. Next, hot glue. And then, well, a power supply, basically. Oh, and one more thing, a some kind of knife to, well, I'll show you later on. So let's get this thing started. So first get, oh, I forgot to get, tell you to get a small little screwdriver, that's what you're going to be needing to open the case up. So first, anyway, you have to open the case up, and I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver, small one, for the bottom four screws. Alright guys, after you guys opened up the thing, there should be tons of these gears inside. Now you're going to look for this one, something that looks like this, with a small little pin right here. Give you a better view of that. Now, this small little pin right here, you want to cut it off using some kind of tool. I'm going to use... I don't know what these tool, this thing's called. Small little, like, thing. Just, anyway, just cut it off using a utility knife or something. I'm going to use a utility knife, actually. Alright, guys. Now it should be nice and smooth with the no gears or extra pieces hanging over it. Now since you got that done, there's a potentiometer right here that you need to... First you need to power it, so plug it to in. Now basically the whole idea is to make sure the motor stops spinning. So you want to turn the potentiometer to the point where the motor stops spinning completely. Has to be right in the center, then after that, you're going to put, put some glue on it. So let me power it up, up the small little thing right here. Power it up. Plug it in. Alrighty. The idea is to make it stop spinning. Once you get that point where it stops spinning, which I guess I just got it, you want to put a small little dab of glue on it. Geometer so it stops in that direction. Next, you want to... Get like a piece of foam or something to wipe it in there to make sure it stops spinning on the potentiometer so it won't move. And there you go, that's basically it. Now since it stops spinning, you put all the gears back into order. So first you want to put that thing down first. Then after that you want to put this one on. Right here. Here. So everything's still moving freely. Now you want to make sure that no glue gets between the gears at all, or else one of your gear pieces is going to break off or something bad is going to happen to it. Next you want to push that on, then you want to get the other gear. Let's see if I can find it, where'd it go? And just put it back in order. So there you go. Now all I have to do is just put it back together, put the casings back on. And put this thing back on. And close everything back up. And then there you go. Then if it still is moving after you plug it in and everything. Just use your the receiver or whatever you're using. And trim it out. Using this. Just spin it in whatever direction you want. And that's basically it. Now, now it should basically be able to move freely in all directions 360 motion so you could basically do whatever you want with it so I hope you like subscribe and comment down below of what you would like to see next please share this video until next time peace out